What is going on everybody? Welcome to this video. My name is Yusuf Hashim and today I'm out here in my garage. You know, I've made a bunch of videos with the Cadillac Escalade, with the Range Rover Sport, with my BMW 540i, but I really haven't showed you guys all the cars that we own together in one single video. So today I'm out here with all the keys of the one, two, three, five cars that we own. And today I'm gonna show you all our garage. Before we get this video started, I want to hope that you guys are all staying safe during this COVID-19 and staying safe quarantined at home with your family and friends. Together, we'll definitely get through it. Also, it's hard to make content during this time, so I'm going to try to make videos with the cars that we have at home and so I don't have to go out anywhere. And also, I want to thank you all for 1,000 subscribers because honestly, I would, never, I would never have thought to get this far. It would just seem like yesterday where I hit 100 subscribers. I want to thank every single one of you who subscribed to my channel because I reached 100 subscribers and that's like a big goal of mine. And I accomplished it and I'm very happy if you're a family of my family member of mine, a friend, or even somebody who just stopped by my channel just to check it out and subscribe. I wanna thank every single one of you guys for watching. So I wanna thank you all for a thousand. You know, content is not stopping here. We're gonna be pushing for that next milestone, whether that be 2,000 subscribers, 3,000 subscribers, or 100,000 subscribers. Now let's get on with the video. So let's begin with the first car. So out here in Southern California, the weather is terrible. It's not like this all the time, but just in case it starts to rain, we're gonna start with the Escalade because it is parked outside. We're gonna start off with this 2017 Cadillac Escalade V8. Let's go ahead and start this beast. So we've had this car for about two and a half years and the car currently has 17,872 miles. This car is mainly used because we're a family of six. We got our grandma, you know, obviously our parents and my two sisters. So whenever we're going out as a family, we love to take this car out. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven seats in the back. And um, honestly, this is the most comfortable ride out there if you're going with the family. You know, my dad sometimes drives this by himself and he says he does not enjoy driving this alone. It's more of a family car. You feel gangster all in the Escalade. Oh shoot, I gotta finish recording this video. As you can see, this is why we all love sitting passenger in the Cadillac Escalade. Obviously, when you're in the driver's seat and driving this big house around, you obviously feel it, but it's, you don't feel it that much because this car is really smooth driving. As a passenger, you have so much room. You have the two captain chairs. These two people don't even have to touch each other. You know, if you hate your older sibling, if you hate your younger sibling, don't even, you can sit over here and you have one person right here able to stretch their legs. This is why the family loves the Cadillac Escalade. On to car number two. Which one's it gonna be? We're gonna go with the Volkswagen Passat. So behind me, I got the 2014 Volkswagen Passat T-S-I-S-E. And this car has not been debuted on the channel because honestly, this is more used as a commute car for my older sister. So let's take a look at what this Volkswagen Passat has to offer. So let's go ahead and start this beast. By far the loudest car we have in our garage. Psych, I'm just kidding, it's a Volkswagen Passat, but I'm gonna put some respect on this car because this is my sister's commute car. Ooh, listen to her. But this car has about 85,000 miles, so as you can tell, this car gets put to work. This is a German car, so it's not a Toyota Camry or Honda, Honda Accord, which has amazing reliability. This car, you gotta be a little bit careful about. This car, since it has a turbo, it is a bit zippy, which is fun to drive, but honestly, comfort-wise for a long drive, this is not your best option. But if you like to zip around with your family in the car, you know, honestly, this car is not as expensive as, you know, a BMW or a Mercedes, like an entry BMW or entry Mercedes, but this car can zip around and you can have fun in the streets. So moving on to the back seat of the car, as you can see, there's a bunch of space in this car. If you're taking about a family of five out here, let me get sitting in this seat right over here. With the seat set up as to how I would drive, this is amazing leg room. This comparable to my BMW 5 Series, this car wins it by a long shot. But honestly, the main concern is the comfort with this car. As I was saying, if you wanna zip around the streets, this car is perfect for you with that turbo in. But honestly, for long drives, this may not be the move. 
If you all are subscribed to this channel and caught that last video that I posted, we actually had a Tesla Model 3 for 24 hours. Well, actually, we had one ordered. One was supposed to come in. It was supposed to be here a couple weeks ago, but due to the coronavirus, we actually decided to cancel that order because honestly, right now, it's not a good time to purchase any cars. And down the line, I know the car market is supposed to decrease, whether that be for supercars or getting a good deal on cars. But that car was actually supposed to be my sister's car, and we are going to have this car sitting as an extra car for another person who wants to commute with this car but honestly in the future that tesla model 3 will be back but with covid19 that's gonna have to stay on a pause the next car we're gonna go with is my mom's range rover sport so most of you are subscribed to this channel because of this car right here i'm gonna be honest this car got me some subscribers out there to help us get to 1000 that's because about a year ago i uploaded a video cost of ownership of this 2014 range rover sport se and honestly, that video blew up. It has about 58,000 views. So if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and check that out. If you want me to do another cost of ownership, because it's been a year, obviously, so stuff maybe has happened to this car. Maybe it hasn't. You got to stay tuned for that video when I do record it. But let me know. Is that something you guys are interested in watching? But this car... Uh, I'll do a little recap of that video. This car, uh, when it came out in 2014, dealerships were asking for markups on this car. And I'm all like markups for what it's just a car but honestly this car was selling very fast it was hard to get these cars in the dealership and when they did they were selling like that pretty similar to the new g-wagon that's out there did you know they're offering about twenty-five thousand dollar markups on those cars but anyways so let's go ahead and start up this bad boy So this car has right now 39,452 miles. This car is 2014. So as you can tell, it's been about six years. It'll be six years in October. So uh, we really haven't driven this car as much. When we first bought this car, this was my dad's absolute dream car and his baby because this car was purchased before the Escalade, before my BMW. So we were really using this car. But when the Escalade came in town, you know, the big dog came in, as a family, we all started going in the Cadillac Escalade and this car has not been driven as much, but honestly, my mom doesn't care because she absolutely loves driving this car around town. Next up, we're gonna go with my favorite BMW 540i out here. I think it's the best looking key in the collection too. Let me know, which key do you like the best? Gosh, give us some space here, man. And let me just have a moment with my car. I'm just kidding, you know, I honestly miss driving this car, you know, with coronavirus around quarantine, I've been staying home for weeks and weeks and I really haven't driven this car. I think the last time this car was even started, it's been like probably 10 days. So honestly, let's hear a very cold start of my BMW 540i. So my 2019 BMW 540i has about 14,346 miles. And honestly, out of all the cars out here, I think this car has the most beautiful design out of them all. With the exterior, the interior, the ambiance lighting, the M Sports steering wheel, oof, I think it's beautiful. Honestly, since I picked this car, I was honestly in between whether buying a one or two year old F80 M3 or this 540i. Personally, I wanted the M3, but you know, my dad was saying that's a racing car and you know, things lead to another, you know, speeding tickets and all that. But honestly, I think I'm glad with my choice of a 540i. You get a bigger car, and plus, I can do any mods I want with this car. We already got the carbon fiber diffuser in the back. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. We got the rims powder coated gloss black, as well as the brake calipers painted baby blue to match the uh, BMW colors, and as well as we got the spoiler in the back. The one thing that I really love about BMWs is how you can mod the car out and customize it the way you truly want the car to look like so in my opinion i've been using this car as a commuter and oof the commute has been just amazing in this car i love driving this car around anywhere i go last but not least let's move on to the best car in the house so right next to me i have our 2014 toyota camry se and this car was actually my grandpa's car but now we have it in our house now my little sister amina hashim drives this car you know she's a new driver on the road be careful of her out there you know her driving is a little bit questionable <laughs> i'm just kidding she's a great driver out there but she's honestly using this as her first car so let's take a look at this 2014 toyota camry so let's go ahead and start this bad boy up 
So the car was purchased in 2014 and the car right now has 70,446 miles. As you can tell, this car is also used as a commuter car with the Volkswagen Passat. But this is since this is the SE model, this car has half cloth and half leatherette seats which honestly is a pretty nice upgrade for about a couple thousand dollars as well as this car has a spoiler in the back which is pretty impressive you know in the BMW I had to purchase an OEM spoiler but this car came with one so hey Toyota you got your game together I was about to say <laughs> something else but Toyota's, Toyota's got it down and reliability on this car is absolutely amazing this car will probably go about 200,000 miles at least so this car is a perfect commuter car and this car is definitely going to be sticking around in our garage. I want to thank you all for watching this video. This concludes the garage tour. Comment down below which car you like the best. Are, is it the commuter cars, the Toyota Camry, the Volkswagen Passat, or more of the luxury cars with the Escalade, BMW, and Range Rover Sport? I want to thank you all for watching this video. Please go down, hit that subscribe button. Thank you again. Thank you once again for 1,000 subscribers. And I will see you all in the next Yusuf Hashim video. See you guys later.